Hello, boys. Welcome in my lecture, Water Resources Engineering. I, Dr. Pradeep Kumar, so welcome to all of you in my class. Today's topic is the design of channel. Regime and semi thermotical approaches, Kennedy theory, Lacy theory, and cross section of channel. Self control in canal. Just uh, as a preview, I want to bring your knowledge. My dear, boy, what is the design of channel? Actually, when we are preparing a canal lined, unlined, or any type of channel. So, we have made a design. What is the capacity of channel? Which type of channel? And uh, what is the carrying capacity of the channel? What is the velocity of channel? In that, all the things we have include on that. And that is called design of channel. Next, uh, we will read in this session regime and semi thermotical Which type of channel will got slope? How much is corner? How much banded? So many things. And uh, next, what is the cross section? How much will be, it will be uh, look as? So, what is the cross section? And how we can control the silt in China? Okay, so just we are starting, and uh, this is the objective of channel. So my dear boy, the design of channel involve the selection of channel. Alignment, shape, size, and button, slope, and whether the channel should be light to reduce seepage and for to prevent the erosion and channel side and button side and bottom since a lined channel the channel size required for convey a specified flow rate at selected slope is smaller for line and channel, and that the lining we are provided. Here, well, I think uh, you are understanding what is the canal bed slope. One thing I want to clear. Suppose, dear boy, we, we, want, we are doing, we are preparing a canal. So, this is the bed. This down line is the bed. And this has a slope. Because this slope, region of this slope, gravity has created and water flow smoothly. Okay, clear? Now, the channel size required 
to convey a specified flow rate at the selected slope which is smaller for a line channel than if no lining were provided therefore in some cases line channel may be more economical than unlined channel so my dear boy first thing you should know one thing ki what is unlined channel and what is line channel dear boy when we are constructing a canal with soil with soil so i think it is the complete work to our purpose but one thing the canal few water just wait dear boy if we are repairing a canal which by soil so problem is the water has fill up to this level or maybe this level but a quantum of water has enter in the bed and this all water move to ground so it it depend upon type of soil it it depend upon type of soil but if you will construct it with soil then it will be called unlined channel and few percentage will be water loss you will face but when you are constructing my dear boy after preparation of the unlined channel you have done this is the you have prepared this is the concrete lined you have made a layer of a concrete you have made a layer for the concrete so no water can seepage on the earth and entire whole water except the loss will be evaporation with the evaporation loss okay clear so dear boy this is the difference between unlined canal and line canal unlined canal means my dear boy it means it is a purely made for the soil but if the lined canal the cover portion which covered by cement concrete but dear boy one thing the cost of concrete lined channel is around to at par the cost of the unlined channel suppose unlined channel cost is around 1 lakh rupees per kilometer so lined channel cost will be 2 lakh rupees per and it 
should we think us Egypt, our canal is economical or not? Egypt give to benefit. What is the benefit cost ratio? What is my derived benefit cost ratio? Egypt coming the benefit cost ratio or it is only for loss. So if we loss, then who will bear the loss? So where? There is the water problem is increasing. There is line channel has been constructed. And there is no water, no uh, water problem is secondary thing. Then online channel will be better. Clear it is? My dear boy, procedures are not presently available for selecting optimum channel parameter directly. Each site has unique feature that require a special consideration Typically, the design of the channel is done by trial and error. Channel parameters are selected and analysis is done to verify that the operational requirements are not with the, these parameters. A number of alternatives are considered and their costs are compared. Then the most economical, all attractive that give satisfactory performance is selected in this process. It is necessary to include the maintenance cost while comparing different alternative similarity. The cost of energy required if pumping is involved and for power canal, the amount of revenue produced by hydropower generation must be included in the overall economic analysis. Then dear boy, the channel design may be divided into two categories. So depending upon whether the channel boundary is erodible or non-erodible. For erodible channel, flow velocity are kept low so that channel bottom and side are not eroded. I will clear that. Don't worry. What is eroded and non-eroded? Think that suppose thereby if you have making a canal channel if the surface is prepared by earth. Naturally, at the fr friction of water, the soil will erode. The soil will be erode. One thing, the soil will be erode. The soil will erode. You see, erode. Is it road? And if you have prepared a channel by the concrete canal, 
utterly not wrong. Because the surface is strong. So my dear boy, if a resistance, if water will be run on a earthen bed, so a resistance will be work on the bed, on the both sides, both sides means like this. If this is the soil, so soil will be road this, 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 and this also. Because your resistance is working. When water will be flow, the earth will be resistless. The earth will be resist. And what on that condition, it will be erode. It will be, my dear boy, erode. And if you have made a concrete channel, so there is no question of erode. But there is a large difference. I think uh, I have told to you near to double the cost. So your benefit cost ratio will maybe suffer. So this is a question. I think you have understood what is the case of erode and non-erode. So the minimum, actually one thing in the erode section, the slope will be less because the water flow, the velocity will be you keep less. You keep less the water velocity. Now, the minimum flow velocity carrying a large amount of the sediment should be such that material being transported is not deposited in the chair. In this chapter, we first consider the design of irrigate boundary, rigid boundary. So, in this first we will consider a rigid boundary channel and then design of aerodynamic channel. Okay? Dear boy, taking lead of the Kennedy theory, Mr. Charlotte like you undertook detail study to involve more scientific method of designing irrigation channel of alluvial soil. I said, why do you what is alluvial soil? One thing you understand this type when you have past any water and you are preparing any channel of the soil, so which type of soil is available? Alluvial soil is that type of soil who has made, who has uh, generate from the cutting of earth, cutting of river. Suppose this is the river bed, okay? And dear boy, 
when water is flowing the corner will be eroded and it will be cut and river so many time expanded his bed and it can change the way to so where this soil will be consumed this soil called alluvial soil perhaps for the irrigation this soil is very good perhaps this irrigation this soil is very good but for the construction it is very soft and so many erode problem will be rise so no strength up to the black soil or other type of soil clear taking bit from the kennedy theory mr Carlet Lake undertook detailed study to involve more scientific method of designing irrigation channel or alluvial soil. He presented a revised version of his study in 1939, which is popularly known as the Lacy theory. present by kennedy popular by lis because lis have also something in the chain and updated so in this theory lis described the detail concept of regime condition and dragosti coefficient the definition of the term are already given so dear boy and river achievement of initial for final design is practically impossible only in bank full stage of high flood the river may be considered to achieve temporary or cushy regime the deco Definition of the fact can be utilized to deal with the issue connecting occurrence flood. Lacy also states that silt is kept in suspension solely by force at the edge. Dear boy. suppose in a condition let's say want to all the particular of the sand this sand this should be kept in the suspended condition so when you will keep as per kennedy theory canal velocity will be keep as slow so this particular will be pasted on the site okay but when you will improve the velocity all particular in the suspended position and if they are in the suspended position if they are in the suspended position my dear boy it is not erode the bank not erode the bed correct 
So this is difference mainly with the Lacy theory and Kennedy theory. Invented by Kennedy and updated by Lacy. Lacy also a state that is still is kept in suspension solo by force of Edij. But Lacy adds the Edij are not generated on the bed only. But in all point weighted parameter, the force of AD may be taken normal in the side. It less you want, maybe a ditch generate the banks, but it not generated the bed. Why? Because, my dear boy, if if will be generated, suppose this is your bed. And ADH will be generated on the bed. This, this, this. This will be make a shape of undulation. The bed will be like this. 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 And overall, it will be cause of the erosion. It will be cause of the erosion. So Lacy had improved this. Now, this is the dear boy. See this diagram. This is the Kennedy theory as per canal. These are eddies, forces of eddy. These are, and these are according to the Lacy theory. Lacy approved it make a purely, and uh, in this canal, the less possibility of eddy found. Clear. Now, the channels should flow uniformly in current, unlimited alluvial, alluvial of the same character that transported by the water. Silt grade and silt charge about be constant and the discharge should be constant and these constant are very rarely achieved and are very difficult to maintain in the practice. Hence, recording to Lacy conception design condition may be subdivided initial, the final, and determination of the these two terms are already given earlier. Okay, clear? So now we will read design of channel. Here what? We will see that what is the design of channel? Actually, it is very important. It is very important which we are making, which we are making to carry the water. Yes, why which we are making to carry the water. So how capacity will be made, how we can send the water smoothly, this is called the chain of channel. 
What the definition? <clears throat> An artificial channel filled with water and designed for the navigation or irrigating land, etc. And an artificial water course of extensive modified natural channel used for inland water transport and or the control and diversion of water for drainage of irrigation. Now, type of canal, so which type of canal you want to construct? <clears throat> there are two types of canal. Aqueduct, water supply canal that are used for the conveyance and delivery of portable for the human consumption municipal use and agriculture education. And water which so navigation, navigation transportation canal used for carrying ship and boat shipping goods are conveying to people. Now Type of canal based on the discharge. So this is the five number type of canal. One main canal. Here by second branch canal. Third major distributary. And minor distributary and water hose. So you will see here what is the main canal. This is the main canal running. Okay. And in between for the command area, in the between, for the command area, some branch canal is also running. This is branch. Sorry. So, this is the branch. No, this, uh, this is the branch canal. This is type of, this is the, near the branch canal. And uh, one thing, what is the role of main canal? Actually, main role canal, main canal, play role, the all water has carried from region wire to farmer's field. And in between, in between this are branch canal, these are branch canal. This is my dear boy, this is the river. This is your region wire, this is canal. This is branch canal. So now we have made major distributary canal. So this is the major distributary canal. And after that, minor distributary canal. So one has also distributed minor distributary canal and water course and the last area, the last flow area are, this is the 
वाटर कोर्स और फील्ड चैनल तो दिस इज द माई डियर बॉय टाइप ऑफ कैनाल कुछ मेन चैनल या मेन कैनाल ब्रांच कैनाल मेजर डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन मेजर डिस्ट्रीब्यूटरी कैनाल माइनर डिस्ट्रीब्यूटरी कैनाल एंड वाटर कोर्स ऑफ फील्ड चैनल कैनाल now what is the main canal the main canal take it directly from the upstream side of weir headwork or dam and next usually no direct cultivation is proceed main canal you cannot direct irrigate from main canal it is not possible kyun why because there is a heavy heavy water is available on that channel my dear boy this is the a canal the dumka plexi canal in romania this is the main canal so can you think from this canal anybody can be irrigate i think no this is only water carrying purpose okay after when you will distribute when you will sub distribute then you can irrigate because if you will join the pool this is the this canal the water will erode all the crop and there will be condition of the flood so my dear boy this is the categorize system this is branch canal all off tick from main canal with head discharge of 40 15 cubic and even r turn at the branch canal suppose you have carrying a main canal no this is not suppose you are carrying a main canal this is main canal so you have designed for this 30 cubic 40 cubic 50 cubic you have designed for this and on that depend upon design you will make the bed and corner okay like you have think that my dear boy if you have designed like this like this so how much is bed width what is the slope of side slope what is the berm everything you have designed but here all of take from main canal to head to charge so that it sub canal means branch canal its capacity is maximum 14 to 15 km you will design also branch canal you will design also branch canal but it will be capable for the 14 to 15 why why my dear boy because because that is the capable that is not capable to direct irrigation 
that is not capable to direct the irrigation and it is has not capacity to do that so all uptake from the main canal with head discharge of 14 15 cubic and above are termed at a branch canal act as a feeder channel for major distributor now it is a branch canal in the madras you can see 14 to 15 cubic canal it is like this now major distributor we will discuss on the major distributor so all optic from the main canal are branch canal with head discharge from 0 0.028 to 15 cubic. Our term has major distributor. Major distributor. It is not also for irrigation. Not for this. It is only for distribution. It is just like my dear boy. When train is coming on the station, before five, six kilometer, it had given brake rotation speed. And if it's 100, it is running 60 kilometer per hour. You have feel he had made his speed slow. But you cannot leave the train. After that, it changed 30 kilometer, 20 kilometer, and when he had taken a normal speed at one kilometer, a half kilometer, then a man can be left the train. So, like that canal is applicable for this also. So minor distributary, all of taking or from the major distributary carrying discharge 0 0.25 cubic are termed at the minor distributary. Next, my dear boy, water course. So what is the water course? So a small channel which carry water from the outlet, a major of minor distributary is a branch channel to the field in last stage of the distribution. When the water velocity is very slow on this condition, we have provided to the former field. Clear? Because crop cannot erode. Otherwise, there will be atmosphere of the flood and all crops will be abolished. So this is a diagram of the main canal. This is the river and this is the branch canal and after that this type of uh, distributary, sub-distributary and outlet. This is the map, line diagram of the map. Now, depend upon best on the lining being provided or not. So, what is the lined canal and unlined canal? So, just you have read this. Just here I have explained what is the lined canal and unlined canal. So, what is difference? Lined canal, I have explained just before. When 
you have made a canal by soil that is called online canal and when you have prepare a canal by soil but you have lined the inner portion like this if you have made the canal and this portion you have made by concrete so what will be benefit no water will be go in the earth and no corner will be erode no adage will be generate it it doesn't but its cost is just like double so this is difference between if online canal and line canal now my dear boy shape of channel this is also important how type of canal shape of canal and shape of channel both are same the circular shape what is the circular shape if you are preparing if you are preparing shape this type this is circular shape if you are preparing this type this is triangular shape if you are preparing this type this is trapezoidal shape and parabolic shape if you are preparing like this this is parabolic shape so this four type canal dear boy it is defined as per the shape of canal <clears throat> this is the lined canal see in this picture this is a very good line canal it had entire this bank and bed had constructed by the cement concrete had constructed by the cement concrete so this is the lined canal and type of lining canal so concrete lining short create lining brick or burnt clay lining and boulder lining this type of line canal and this is unlined canal see this the picture is for you this is the unlined canal the unlined canal is the one which as it bed and bank made of a natural soil through which it is constructed and not provided with the lining or impervious material so this is unlined canal clear
एंड डिसएडवांटेज ऑफ ऑनलाइन कैनाल तो वाटर वेलोसिटी हायर देन जीरो पॉइंट सेवन मीटर पर सेकेंड आर नॉट टॉलरेबल बिकॉज ऑफ इरोशन द लो ऑपरेटिंग वेलोसिटी रिक्वायर लार्ज क्रॉस सेक्शन एरिया इफ यू आर sending water it the slowly the entire it is your also required large cross section it is a large land it is a big canal and high seepage and convenience water losses result in the water logging of the adjacent land and danger of canal bank breaking cause by overtopping erosion and the animal bone and to focus growth aquatic weight and retards the flow and cause heavy maintenance cost so dear boy uh, you have uh, here taken knowledge about the design of canal so in my next uh, session i will derive other factors okay thank you but uh, i want to ask some mcq uh, about which you have read you have uh, taken knowledge for today i want to check your knowledge so, so please give me reply of my mcq a multi purpose reservoir is the one which so what is the correct answer answer is b what planned and constructed to serve various purpose a rain gauge should preferably be fixed where you want to fix a rain gauge station what is correct answer answer c in open space then you can uh, know how much rain had dropped on the earth now a rippling drawn is a line a pointing up stream a pointing down stream what is the correct answer answer is a pointing up stream now my dear boy hydroelectric scheme operating under the head of the 80 meter well So what you will classify as? Tell me. That is the high head scheme. That is high head scheme. And a land is known as a water logged. What tell this? It is answer correct. It is C capillary. Tree reaching in the root zone of the plant, and uh, next question: the heterograph is graphical representation of what is correct answer? It a rainfall intensity and time. Rainfall intensity and time. Next question, my dear boy. A seventy percent index of wetness means 
What is correct answer? Answer is B, a rain deficiency of 30%. Now a current meter is used to measure. For what do you use the measure? Tell me, give me correct answer. Answer is A, velocity of flow of water. Now, next question. A deep well, what is the action? The correct answer is, tell me, has more discharge than a shallow well. And next question. A divide well is provided. So where provided? Correct answer is A at right angle of the axis. Correct? Okay, thank you for joining my class. Is it the reference of this? Uh, this step, chapter, which have the URB, and this is the reference books. This is the reference book. So, uh, thank you for joining my class, and we will meet uh, tomorrow in my next class. Okay.